At first glance, it was a grey stone. Yet, under warm sunshine, it shimmered purple, and under moonlight, it shone. Hello, Panda Cubs! Xiaoma Baba Me, Ni Hao, and welcome back to Panda Cub Stories. So, today's story is a sneak peek, the very first episode of our retelling of the Chinese classic, Journey to the West, Xi Yu Ji. Now this episode has a lot of drawings and even some animation that we've been working hard to make for you. So if you like this version and you'd like to see more, make sure to subscribe to the Panda Cub Stories YouTube account or follow us on our podcast. So Panda and I are hard at work, but your feedback keeps us motivated and speeds us along. Hello, Panda Cubs. Xiaoma Baba Men, ni hao. Today, I'll be sharing a very special story with you. A story called Xi Yu Ji, or Journey to the West. This story is very, very old, and one of the most famous stories in Chinese history. It's also one of my favorite stories. All right, ready to begin? Let's get started. Journey, A Monkey's Tale, Episode 1, A Strange Stone. Once upon a time, there was a deep blue sea. And in that big blue sea, there was a small island a very beautiful island with white sandy beaches that glittered under the sun. On that island, there was a mountain, and on that mountain, flowers bloomed and sweet fruit grew. This mountain was called Hua Guo Shan, Flower Fruit Mountain. Now, it is on Hua Guo Shan that our story begins. On the highest peak of Hua Guo Shan, that mountain of flower and fruit, there was a stone. A strange stone it was, 36 feet tall and 24 feet wide. At first glance, it was a gray stone, yet under warm sunshine, it shimmered purple, and under moonlight, it shone a jade green. Some say that the stone dropped from the hands of the goddess Nuwa when she had repaired the sky. But all that happened a long, long time ago. And now, almost all had forgotten from whence the stone came. All we know is that it was very, very old. One day, something strange happened. The stone it began to move. First, it wiggled. And then, a hop. And then... Lightning flashed and thunder roared. And with an almighty crack, the stone split into two. And from inside the stone, do you know what came leaping out? Why, something with two fuzzy arms and two fuzzy legs, one long, long tail, and a pair of curious eyes. Can you guess what this was? If you guessed monkey, then congratulations, you guessed right. However, this was a stone monkey, a shi hou. The stone monkey scratched his head and blinked curious eyes. And from those eyes shone two beams of brilliant light. That light shone so brightly that it shot straight through the clouds and into the celestial palace in the sky. And high in the sky, the Jade Emperor sat up with a start. With an imperious wave, he commanded his two captains, Qin Li Yan and 
顺风耳 to find the source of that light. So with sharp eyes that could see for a thousand li, Qian Li and looked down and saw a monkey and a broken stone. And with ears that can hear as far as the wind blows, Shun Feng Er listened to the Shi Hou, the stone monkey, chattering down on the earth below. Returning to the palace, the two captains reported, "On Mount Huaguo, there was once a strange and magical stone. Out of that stone came a monkey whose eyes shone like gold." Pay it no mind," came the Jade Emperor's reply. "For what are earthly matters to gods?" All right, Panda Cubs, we leave our story here for today. What is to become of our stone monkey? Well, we'll have to continue this story next time. All right, Panda Cubs, that was our story for today. If you want to listen to this episode in Mandarin, click here if you're on YouTube, or go ahead and see the link in our podcast show notes below. As always, make sure to subscribe and tap on that little notification bell to hear more stories. We'll see you next week. 下周见 Goodbye.